welcome back as you guys know already we are currently online by the Ali account okay so if we go back to the profile now we are on the job screen and if we go back to the profile in my case I am logged in by the Ali account that's the current user who is online for now I have already explained this in detail that if Ali wants to visit the other user profile let me show you just that Tony Stark that's the other user so right for the Ali user that we are currently online for now so we will show the whatsapp icon mail icon and also the cell phone icon so then the Ali can simply click upon that and it will launch a URL for the whatsapp if Ali wants to and similar for the mail and the end will be the cell phone number okay so we will work upon that we have already implemented the methods as you guys know okay so now we will show it right in here and you guys will just notice the output so let us go now and above the account information let me just see there we go with the account information as you guys can see okay and there we go with that icon as you guys can see the email one and the phone okay there's a content and icon in here so I'll simply copy that sandbox that divider and also this sandbox so simply copy it from here to here copy it and below this padding as you guys can see okay right in here just past it there we go we just passed it and we will change this to 15 and also we will change this one to 35 and the divider is going to be same now below this size box the height is 35 okay below this one what I'll say we will say is same user okay if it's same user then what I'll do write in if first let me move it to the side a little bit okay that's fine now down in here write in if we will have empty container because let me just explain now if it's gonna be the same user like for example in my case I'm currently online by the Ali account I have already tell you so many times that we are currently online by the Ali account so Ali gonna be the same user okay let me first go towards the Ali profile there's the Ali and that's gonna be the same user okay so in here we will just see if they're gonna be the same user then we will not show the icons like for example whatsapp mail to and the cell phone number okay we will not show the icons for that same user okay because currently we are online by the Ali account okay so Ali will not contact his own account so that's why right in here we show just the empty container okay so I hope you can get the idea now and if that Ali wants to visit the other user profile and if Ali wants to contact with the other user then he can simply as I tell you so many times there will be that icons and Ali will simply contact from there so now let's move further as you guys know already if it's same user then we will show the empty container if the other user then we will show the icons like for example whatsapp mail to and the cell phone number so now we will work upon that for the other user okay it's going to be right down in here in this card so right in here we will say else move it to this side and we are going to show that icons it's going to be right in a row okay like that so in here for that we will have a row widget add it and comma and take this row widget down now first we will set the property main access alignment we will set this right to space around okay main access alignment dot space around now right afterwards we will have a children and right in the children we will have the design that we just implemented before right in the previous video contact by okay and there we go with the suggestion it's gonna take the color fct click event and also the icon so what I'll do I'll simply just 
remove it for now and we will edit one by one so that you guys just don't get confusing that in here comma and tag this down first we will provide the color and the color is gonna be let's go with the green one that is gonna be for the whatsapp that's why we choose green in here now uh, let's go towards the click even fct there we go now right in there we will simply call upon the method open whatsapp chat right in this fct as you guys can see already okay now the last thing that we are left with icon okay so in here we will say icon first in here put comma and that's fine in here colon and let's have the font awesome in here there we go with the suggestion font awesome and we will go with the whatsapp whatsapp that's fine and put comma now we are done with the whatsapp one so if you guys didn't hold to load the app first do that i have already hold to load the app so there is no need of do it again i will just simply press the control s and you guys will notice the output just for the whatsapp one because we already implement that okay as you guys can see right in here for the whatsapp simply i'll press the control s and there we go with the whatsapp icon right in a circle okay in a circle avatar let me show you that right in the method contact by as we implemented before okay that's the contact by method and in here as you guys can see the circle avatar they are just for the that background one okay as you guys can see the green color okay that is for that and that circle avatar is simply for this whatsapp as you guys can see already okay and you can play with it you can change the radius like let's say i'll change this to 35 and press the control s you guys notice that okay now the green color is a little bit gone now right the edge of this circle and if you want to increase that just simply you can come here and change this to 40 and control it there we go okay you can change it like that i think the first one was more good so i'll go back to the 25 and i'll set this again to 23 now i'll just press the control s and it will go back to the previous design the same one okay control s and there we go so now you guys get the idea that radius simply for the green circular color as you guys can see and that radius is simply for the whatsapp background okay that one so you can play with it now we will just go down towards the working that we just implemented before there we go okay now we are done with the whatsapp one as you guys can see and right in this contact by let us go now and click upon that whatsapp icon and it will take you right towards the whatsapp but before clicking on that guys it's a emulator and i didn't install the whatsapp right in the emulator so simply just connect your app right towards your original cell phone and it will take you right towards your whatsapp and then you can contact with the other user right in your case so this is the emulator and i didn't install the whatsapp now i will just click upon that and you guys will notice that it will launch a url for us click upon that and boom there we go as you guys can see the result now i'll simply go back now back again in the app what I'll do now, we will simply the next one will implement for the mail one. Okay, first let me just go back to the Ali profile. So, as you guys can see right in here, that mail Ali one two three at three gmail dot com is just a dummy email. Let's say it's a fake email. So, I just entered that right at the sign up time, just for testing purposes. Okay, so that dummy email we will not use that so what i'll do i'll simply log out this current user whose name is ali okay let's go and log out that user there we go 
now we will enter with the original email one okay so I'll enter with the share 3654 that's the original email okay and in your case enter and login with your original email so in my case I'll enter that because that mail as you guys can see right in here share 3654 at the red gmail dot com that belongs to the Zain Malik user okay and that's the original email now in here I'll enter the password I think it was ijob clone app now simply I'll just check login boom there we go now we are online with design malik okay as you guys can see right in here so I'll go to the job screen and come back uh, towards the profile so as you guys can see the mail right in here that's the original email now we will go back to the other user profile and it was Tony Star okay there we go now let's work upon the email one so for a time saving what I'll do I'll just copy that from here to here copy it and down in here paste it now we will change the color right to red because this is going to be for the mail one and in here we will change that method right to the mail one okay there we go and in here we will also change the icon so I'll go with the mail that first one mail underscore outline I'll go with this one now so I have already hold load the app so I will just simply press the control s and you guys will notice the mail one control s and there we go with the output as you guys can see right in here now click upon that boom there we go as you guys can see the result right in here from sheer 3654 at gmail.com and to Tony Stark 644883 at gmail.com as you guys can see right in here that sheer okay and the owner of this mail is Zain Malik he just contact with the Tony Stark and you guys can see right in here the Tony Stark mail okay you can type whatever you want right in here you can attach your CV file anything whatever you want from here you simply click upon that and there you go with the attach file simply click on that it will take you right to your gallery okay you can choose whatever you want from here and it's gonna be right in there then let me just say I'll just attach that picture and let's say that's my CV file okay so I'll open that there we go and now simply and one more thing guys currently I'm online writing this emulator by this sheer 3654 at the gmail.com okay now I will just simply send this right to the Tony Star okay that email just send it sending message as you guys can see the result okay the message has been sent successfully the mail one okay and you guys can see the result now what I'll do I'll simply just show you one more thing I'll go and open that gmail in here as I tell you before I'm currently online by the share account okay s h e a r 3654 at the rate gmail.com okay that's the mail as you guys can see the result right in here now we are currently online by that and if you go to the send right from the share 3654 at gmail.com okay from this mail we'll go towards the send and you guys can see that right in here with the time okay it's simply send that let me just open that okay that is the email that we just sent from the share 3654 at gmail.com right to the Tony Star. Okay, in here we will just see the details. Okay, from as you guys can see, share 3654 at gmail.com and to Tony Star. Okay, as you guys can see right in here. So, guys, just don't get confused in that. That the name right in here, Gulshare. Okay, that is the name that I enter 
for this mail okay right in the gmail but right in the app the owner for this mail is Zain Malik as you guys know already okay so just don't get confused in that that name is just the gmail one okay so it's working totally fine and the message let's say the email has been sent successfully right to the Tony Stark now we will open the Tony Stark mail and we will just see if that message or let's say mail sent to the Tony Stark or not okay let's go back now in here as you guys can see I'm currently online by the share 3654 at the rate as you guys can see right in here now what I'll do I'll go towards the Tony Stark mail I have already in here that Tony Stark okay as you guys can see I'll open that now as you guys can see the message right in here first let me show you that's the Tony Stark mail now okay Tony Stark 644883 at the rate gmail.com we are now currently online right in the gmail from this mail okay so you guys can see the result right in here okay I'll open that that Gulshare one okay that's mail it's just loading now there we go now we will see the detail okay that's from the Tony Stark mail okay guys just don't get confused in that so in here as you guys can see to Tony Stark 644883 we send that back to this Tony Stark and here you guys can see the detail okay so it's from share 3654 at gmail.com okay and to Tony Stark 644883 at gmail.com as you guys can see the result right in here it's working totally fine and you guys can see that and guys I have already told you just don't get confused in that name that's the name okay that belongs to the gmail name okay it's my original email and that's my name but right in the app that we sign up our account okay right on this mail and we just enter the name right at the sign up time right in the app the name that we enter in the app it was Zain Malik okay so the owner for this mail is Zain Malik but right in the app okay not in here so we will go back and you guys can see that it's working totally fine I'll go back to the app now so here we are and if you go back to the job screen and go towards the profile as you guys can see right in here Zain Malik okay and you can see the mail right in here share 3654 at gmail.com that's my original email okay that I enter right at the sign up time and right at the sign up time the name that I enter before it was Zain Malik okay so right in the app as I told you so many times the owner is Zain Malik for this mail right in the app so just don't get confused in that okay